Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This is the ex extended video uh, of the backstage view. This is tutorial 2C. If you haven't seen the previous v versions of the video, you need to go and watch tutorial 2A, tutorial 2B. Uh, now, we'll carry on where we left off on the last video. So you go to the backstage, which is the file tab. You come down to the options. Now these options are same as the ones in the older versions of Word, like from 2003 previous, you'd go to Tools Options. Now you just go to the Backstage View Options. You've got your General, your Categories down here. We'll start with your General View. These are simply Turn On, Turn Off. Now I don't like the Show Mini Toolbar on Selection, so on my system I would turn it off. Um, I find it annoying, but it is a good tool especially for new users so some people like it some don't if you want it on just put a tick in it leave it on enable live preview I do like that because I like to see what the formatting is going to look like before I actually apply it and the styles especially so I really like that color schemes this is the color scheme for just the Microsoft group so if I click that down there and say black and then I just say OK to this box notice now all the windows word powerpoint excel would look like that it's a personal preference thing uh, you just set the color that you like i like the silver i think it's pleasing to the eye so i would just leave it as silver but it's just knowing that you can change it um, according to what you like down here you've got your username and your initials that's usually in by default but if it isn't just put your own name in you can open emails in full screen reading view if you like the full screen reading view just put a tick in there I don't like it so I'll just leave it as it is display this category is showing you what you're going to see on screen show white space between pages uh, in print layout view show the highlighter marks and show document tooltips to over I love the tooltips so I would turn that on uh, and rest I'll leave on anyway these little fellas here these are what we refer to as formatting codes but a lot of people call them non-printing characters uh, it depends who you're talking to but I've done a video all about them it's tutorial 6 format codes go check that out because you need to understand what these codes are all about you can turn them on and off here so you could say I just want to see the tab characters or the spaces or whatever but the main way of turning them on and off is in the main screen you go to the home tab you go down to the paragraph group and you've got a little button there look and it says show and hide just click the show and hide button there you go look that's your formatting codes but do check that previous uh, video like i say tutorial six format codes you need to understand what them codes are all about so it's a good video just to bring you up to date on them now these ones down here printing options it's just saying what you can print in word by default print drawings created in word is on the rest aren't on but if you're doing like a web page and you've got background colors and images you would have to come in here and turn this on print background colors and images print document properties i use that a lot because sometimes i just want the document properties nothing else i need to know the author and how many words things like that uh, printed and text uh, update fields before printing and update linked data before printing these used to be on by default but they're not no more so if you want them on you have to turn them on uh, hidden text I use hidden text a lot but I certainly wouldn't want to be printing it the proofing section this is where you've got your auto correct now a lot of people email us and say oh, I'm looking for me auto correct where is it gone you know it's still here it's just in the options which is in backstage options and then the proofing auto correct now my t typing isn't up to date and it ain't that good really so these options here are vital for me so correct to initial capitals when I would want that on capitalize first letter of sentences capital first letter in tables uh, capitalize name of days and correct accidental usage of cap locks I use all them guys so I'll leave them on replaces your type well for me this is absolutely fantastic it means if you type here like on this bit here you've got open bracket C close bracket press space and it'll replace the copyright symbol 
and you've got lots of them guys down here you need to have a little look it was designed for spelling errors and it is really good um, if I just show you some I use this to drop all sorts in but if I use DB for instance and then I type my full name now I hit the add button and then I say OK and then we'll say OK to that as well okay now we're in the document imagine and you're typing away you know you you're typing away blah 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 and then you just say DB space back <laughs> how cool is that it drops stuff in in seconds I use it for addresses I use it for long company names I use it for just about anything to be honest with you it is really good I use it as a time saver um, but just you know have a little look have a little play with it the only thing I'd say just be careful on the abbreviations you're using because if you are using like my initials DB if I'm using DB and somebody's using DB as database they couldn't type DB on my system because as they did my name would pop in so then I would have to abbreviate it like some uh, DB1 or DB2 and and just get round it that way but it's still a magnificent way of working underneath the autocorrect options you've got the uh, when correcting spellings this is just your spell check options really so you've got ignore words in uppercase you know straight common forward common sense so if you want them put a tick in see I like the repeated words I like that on so it's it is just put a tick in it custom dictionaries you come down here down further down I have to just lift that up a little bit this is where you get the little yellow and green wiggly lines underneath the words so you've got hide spelling errors in the document that's the red wiggly line and then you've got hide grammar that's the green wiggly line and you do get a, a, a blue one sometimes that's uh, inconsistency of formatting but you just put these ticks on if you want them turn them off if you don't save options this is where you save everything save file in format by default it saves it as a docx if you wanted if you were working with uh, people who's got 2007 and 2003 you would then change it to word 97 2003 the downside of using this one is if you're using this system and you use a new feature in word 2010 the document will tell you you're about to lose that formatting because they don't support the stuff that you've put in there so that's the only issue that you've got really uh, auto save I'm putting it back just to normal doc uh, auto recovery every three minutes I've got it every three minutes guys because of the videos because I I'm using versions things like that so I need to show the video so I have it quicker but it's usually 10-15 minutes but you can set it to what you want keep the last auto save version that's the location it'll save it in default file location this is brilliant we've got it into you know documents but if I'm working on a project and, and I'm developing courses I would put a, a folder on my desktop and then I would default everything to that one folder nice little time saver good um, editing checkout files you know for the server draft location on the computer office document cache and that's telling you the location of it this is a good system this this is good you can embed fonts now that's really good if you're sending it out to people who you know haven't got the fonts then you would just do that embed fonts in the file that's really good language straightforward stuff guys UK language you know help his language as well uh, you wouldn't want to be reading that or I wouldn't want to be reading that in Chinese because I can't understand it advanced this guys way way too many uh, for me to walk you through it because this option it, it is literally there's loads of choices in here uh, you've got typing replaces selected text be careful of that one guys because that's when you're in a document and imagine that you've got your document set up you've changed the document properties like you know, bold italic whatever and then you don't remove that highlight if you don't remove that highlight and you accidentally touch the keyboard bang you've just overwrote that text you've just done wiped it out not even known you've done it so when you're working with your selected text you 
highlight the text you do what you've got to do with it and you remove the text or you turn that option off in the advanced feature and that's just take the tick out and now that wouldn't happen so it's you know you need to have a little look at it uh, these are straightforward I'm not going to go through them all guys because there's way too many have a little look at how many there is this couple of hundred I would imagine never counted them but these are a lot of them so what you need to do you need to come in here and you need to have a little look through these options and say yeah I like that no I don't like that and just turn them on and off where it says here look when selecting automatically select the entire word for me I love that allow text to be dragged and dropped I love that but again some people don't like it do you mean but you just come in put a tick in what you want take a tick off if you don't like it uh, customize your ribbon guys this is gonna I'm gonna do a video on this one all of its own so there will be a ribbon uh, there'll be a video on how to customize the ribbon and how to make new tabs quick access toolbar this is worth a mention I have mentioned it in previous videos but it's still worth a show you how to do it these are the commands that you can have most popular commands now if we scroll down here and let's say we say um, there you go insert page and section breaks I'll select that and then I'll hit the add button now notice I've put it now into the quick access toolbar it's not up there yet okay but the minute I say okay notice it's now there can you see it brilliant now when I want to I can come in here quick access I can come in here and I can change the order of that so I can move that up so it's at the beginning so I can put these in order as, as I want them to come across here yeah I'll say okay to that and thingling jack uh, down there and now it's at the end yeah to remove that I just can point at that right click say remove and that just removes it yeah now if you click on the file and you say options um, quick access again we're going to there yeah I've just got rid of that the add-ins it's got the um, more advanced features here I'm not got I'll do a video on it later on but for you at this point unless you're an advanced user of course um, I'm not going to walk through it now I haven't got the time factor and I will show you uh, a video like I've said later on trust centers also I'll do a video just on trust center um, but that's it for now guys on the on the options I would like to thank you very much for your time for watching don't forget if you do uh, subscribe with us we do take requests so check me other videos out if you like them subscribe with us then drop us a little request over and we'll do a video just as soon as we can thank you for watching bye